Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some pretty interesting Toreba machine. This one, someone's playing. It's a Sum Sum bath towel. I want to show you this one because they have a pretty cool setup. This, it's the first time I see they only have a cross design with no background, nothing on the side whatsoever, just across so someone's playing now I guess the crawl is kind of broken and well I almost flipped the whole towel out out the bar it looks pretty easy just across like two bars and put a towel in the middle of the cross but actually if you want to lift it up it still requires some skills mm -hmm. let's see if that person can lift it up he's trying to lift up from the front there are five people waiting in line I guess this one is pretty popular the claw is starting to be broken now I think now his strategy can just be um, push the claw all the way back as far as it can go so you can flip the towel out of the bar. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now it's like just two corner hanging. I'm just going to keep watching until it falls. He should have went a little further down. Huh? When the claw is uh, all the way to the bottom and it's broken, he should have just pushed it all the way back so it can fall. Huh? You always stop in the middle. Now he's trying to go more towards the left side to see if we can lift it up. I feel like lately Toleba's claw machine in general, the claw itself it's pretty weak. They set up all the claws to be so weak you can't even lift up a tiny bit on the object. It's still kind of weak, you couldn't even push down. Let's see if we can get it this time. This one is look look easy, but it's pretty hard. Now it's on two of the bars, two sides of the bars, and it's pretty hard to get it down to one side. Now it goes down again. Now it's a good good time to like push the towel all the way back this time. Let's see if we can do it. Oh my god. He moved it to the left side even more. Now what is he going to do now? 
Trying to push it down. Apparently it doesn't work. It's trying to push again. Let's see if he can do it this time. Because the claw doesn't go down far enough to be able to push it all the way down. So I think he should continue lifting the front part. See if we can lift the whole thing up. Still not working. This time he's going to lift up the front now. Oh, instead he pushed it down. This one's going to take a while to get it, get it down. Let's look at another machine. So this one is the Virakuma Flowing Noodle Bowl Set. This is another newer setup that Toreba has with the slanted platform on the side and all you have to do is lift up the box and try to push it to the front. The bottom also have those card box to um, support it but they make more platform on the side so Actually, I don't know if it will help you or it just create like an, a more harder position for for the claw to move. You can say it helps you because it makes it stays in the middle more, but it's still going to make it hard to lift up because this is blocking the claw from expanding wide. You know? so this one is the Virakuma Earthware Pot. This one of the pots that I like, it's the the one that you can make like steam soup soup or steam rice in it. It's like that. It's a pretty cool pot and actually they create a pretty uh, easier setup now with the ping pong ball. All of the claws, even the ping pong one, it's they make it really hard to like grip the ball and sometimes their claw even stop before the hole. So it's really hard to make it bounce to the to the red one, to the red hole. I guess now they stop playing and someone new coming in. Let's watch a play. Okay, let's see if that person is able to even grip a ball. Because now all the balls are on the on the side, so it makes it really hard to grip it. And this one is the Virakuma Sensor LED Clock. This one is not a new product. They've been out for a couple months. But I just want to show you this really quick. Because, first of all, they have a really cute Valentine's design. Oh, that person is getting to the edge. I like how they decorate it in Valentine's Day um, designs. And, and another thing I want to show you is because nowadays, even with the two bar, the regular two bar claw machine, they have... They put it really close to each other, so it's really hard to even just lift it from the center and try to um, push the box through the two, the two gap, the really narrow gap. It's super hard now these days in a lot of uh, Toreba claw machines. And someone is playing this very cute. Virakuma Subaki plushie. It looks like those St. Patrick's Day plushie with the 
green scarf. Let's see if that person is able to even try to move it. Nowadays, a lot of machines now requires you to move the stuffed animal to the front. It looks easy, but it's actually pretty hard. He was able to move it a little bit towards the front now. Let's see if we can move even further out. And also a lot of setup these days they don't they don't make the call go down far down enough. So it's only lift up tiny bit, tiny bit each time. Whenever you try to get a good position and try to lift it up, it still only lift up a little bit on the object. This one is also super close. Let's see if we can get it. Now we try to stop in the front. Oh, it's getting really hard these days. Haven't seen one one person got a thing yet. Now we try to lift the back. Oh, it still doesn't work. So lastly, I just want to show you this very cute uh, new Rirakuma kimono style plushie this one they put a regular setup with one on each side but nowadays they put really high um, side bar uh, to block the animal to block the stuffed animal from falling down so you have to use a really you have to step it really at the right position in order to shift the stuffed animal to the middle of those two lift up boards there's like a tiny hole in the the middle so this one is it got blocked but let's see if that person be able to get it so i can get a footage of at least one person got their stuffed animal So close. He's targeting the middle. I think he's trying to stab it, but not strong enough. I think nowadays a lot of Toreba machine, you can't really stab it. They don't go all the way down enough to stab the stuffed animal down. And this one is so expensive too, it's like 2,000 2, Toreba points TP to play. I think all you have to do is just to shift the, the lower part of the stuffed animal more towards the hole and then lift it up. Now it's trying to shift it. Now I shift to the middle now. I think one more time he can get it down. I'm trying to stab it. Ooh, he got it by stabbing at the very end of the, the feet. Nice. So this is all I'm going to show you today with some newly harder Toreba machines. So I'll see you next time with more Toreba video. Bye.